Learn carving through these basic steps with easy diagrams. For maxillary force molar, we will take a wax block and we'll divide it into crown and root. Crown height 7.5 mm and root length mesobuccal 12 mm, distobuccal 13 mm and palatal 12 mm. We'll take mesodistal width 10 mm, cervical taper would be 8 mm, buccolingual width would be 10 mm, which is wider and we'll connect the lines to form the crown taper. Now for the occlusal part, we'll have to remove these from the distobuccal and from the mesopalatal end to get the rhomboidal shape. Mark the lines to get the distobuccal, mesobuccal, mesopalatal and distopalatal cusp. Also for the occlusal third, we'll have to remove these uh, wax from these sides and then we will carve the developmental groove and fossas. Here is the buccal groove, this one is the palatal groove and the central groove. Also don't forget to carve the cusp of carabelli which is present in the mesolingual cusp. Mark the triangular ridges of each cusp which will form the transverse ridge which is the combination of mesobuccal and mesolingual ridges and the oblique ridge which connects the mesolingual and distobuccal ridges. And we will add the central pit, mesial and distal pit. Now after finishing the crown part we will move towards the root carving. From the mesial aspect we will get this outline. We will mark it and will remove the extra wax from here. This is palatal root and this is the mesobuccal root. Now we will carve from the distal aspect. We will mark the outline. Here we will see the distobuccal root and the palatal root like this. Similarly, mesobuccal and distobuccal root can be seen from the buccal aspect. Again from the palatal aspect we will remove the wax block after making an outline. Here we will see the palatal root and then after that in the last we will carve the uh, apical third so that the our root won't break. So these are the basic diagrams for beginners. Save it for later reference.